hello guys how are you doing my name is winfred and you're welcome to my channel where it's all about easy meals at home today we are going to be making an easy potato meal with just a few potatoes with a few ingredients join me see how it is done as you can see and i'm going to take them out and just slice them into few cuttings so like i cut it up cut them up to this size I'm going big because I'm assuming anyone watching this potato recipe is looking to save time and do other things. So you go ahead and cut them up big. I'm using four potatoes simply because the meal is just for three, two people. So if you're having this meal to yourself, go ahead and make two potatoes because we have other ingredients that we are going to add to our meal that will make it complete. So once you're done cutting up your potatoes, you get your carrots, uh, uh, or you get your onions. I've got two onions, purple onions. I'll cut them up. I'm still going for the big chunks because my potatoes are also big. And I'm assuming you don't have time, just like I don't. And yet I need to whip up a nice meal for myself just before I step out. So go ahead and cut up your onions. Big chunks. These will look good in the pot and appetizing when you serve. And I'll do the same to my tomatoes. I've got about three tomatoes, medium size. But I'm also going to go ahead and slice the same way I've diced the potatoes. And once you're done cutting up your tomatoes, go ahead and cut up your green bell peppers. I've got only one that I'm using. Remember, the meal is just for two. So, um, using up a few ingredients. As you can see, I've finished cutting up those ones. And these are my carrots that I also diced up to big chunks. As you can see, I'm not going small. I'm going big because that's the theme for our potatoes go ahead and cut up yours i'm done cutting up my green bell peppers and these are my spices i'm only going to use quarter a teaspoon of black pepper salt some a tablespoon of curry powder some all-purpose flour a teaspoon and rosemary half quarter a teaspoon and let us get cooking now I've put on my pan on fire and put about two tablespoons of oil and to that I'm going to put my potatoes and in order to avoid splashings I've added them just before the oil is overly ready. Remember we said these are two potatoes but these were the big two. I went for the big ones so I'm just going to fry them a bit and get them to a golden step before I add the other ingredients. Now to that, I'm going to add my carrots. These are three carrots. And I'll go ahead and add my onions. Remember that potatoes take a short time to cook, so I'm adding some onions. And I'm adding my tomatoes. Remember, this meal is for when you have no time and yet you have to eat. So go ahead, add everything and give them a quick mix. Don't be, don't be alarmed. The onions will cook through. Everything will cook. But this is one way you can whip yourself up a quick meal on the days you don't have time. So I'm going to add to this my spices. Which is the open pasta, the rosemary and curry powder plus salt. Okay. And I'll mix this and cover for about I'll mix and cover for about Two minutes that will allow my potatoes to cook to cook and carrots plus the rest of the vegetables guys this is a busy pot and 
it will take me a short time to cook and yet very delicious so let me cover and cook it for about two minutes and then i'll show you what happens now after two minutes go ahead and stir up your your potatoes and allow the ingredients to blend very well and to this i'm going to add some garlic i put garlic last because i still want those aromas in my potatoes as and when i'm serving so this is blended uh, this is grated garlic this is about three cloves of garlic This meal is so easy, very quick, and yet delicious. So if you ever find yourself caught up by time, with time, go ahead and whip this up and enjoy making it and eating it at the same time. So now I'm going to add some water, just a little bit of water, and let it cook for about five minutes or less, depending on your heat. You go ahead and mix and then cover and let it cook through. Now our potatoes have been on for five minutes. I'm just going to add the green bell peppers. These are also big chunked because that is our theme for today. Big chunks, easy meal, quick, in case you don't have time and you just go ahead and enjoy. I'm going to cook the green bell peppers for about a minute and then my food will be ready for serving. Otherwise, guys, this is what I have for you today. Thank you for watching, for subscribing. Until next time, bye-bye and God bless.